Hey you! Welcome to my channel. It is Ty Simone, aka Ty Ty Too High, and I'm back with another video. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to be sharing with you what an ISBN is and why you need one for your book. If you are new to my channel, my name is Tai Simone and I am an illustrator, an author, a poet, a writer, a graphic designer, a website designer, a yogi, an architect. I am literally so many things. The list is like, whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay. In this particular series, I am sharing with you how to self-publish your very own children's book. So if you are interested in that type of content, please make sure to like, share, and comment on this video, and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any new videos or updates on how to create really dope content for yourself or your audience. You know, gotta do it for the fans. So, what is an ISBN? I'm gonna tell you. An ISBN stands for an International Standard Book Number and it's a unique identifier for your book so that people and entities around the world can not only find but purchase your book. Your book. Hey Ty. Ty. Why purchase an ISBN? Aren't they Aren't they free on like Amazon and Ingram, Ingram Spark? Why, why would I want to buy one? What's up with that? <laughs> yes, it's true that Amazon KDP and Ingram Spark and these other self-publishing services offer these complimentary ISBNs. However, they're not always recognized on an international level and there can be inconsistencies when it comes to the information that's provided on your book. So if you want your book to be seen and recognized internationally, and you want to make sure that all of the information about your book is concise and accurate, you want to purchase an ISBN. ISBNs are the global standard for book identification. Therefore, they are required by most retailers. Having an ISBN will improve the likelihood of your book being found and purchased internationally by publishers, libraries, bookstores, and individuals. This will enable a more efficient marketing and distribution of your title. Hey Ty, how many ISBNs do I need for one book? You will need one ISBN for each different version, format, or edition of your book. So for example, if you have a title and you want to publish the same title in ebook, paperback, and hardback, you'll need three separate ISBNs for that one title. So if you are considering purchasing an ISBN for your books, you want to start considering and thinking about things like how many different titles you want to publish, how many different formats you want to publish each title in, and whether or not you're going to be having revisions or additions to your book in the future, because if you make any changes, revisions, or additions to your book, this new book will require its own ISBN in all the different formats that you have, unless you only want to offer it in one different format after that. The choice is yours. <laughs> Side note, ISBNs can be purchased at any time. And after they've been purchased, they're available for immediate use and they do not expire. So if you wanted to purchase them in advance, you are more than welcome to. And again, you don't have to worry about them expiring or going bad or going anywhere because they are stored on the Bowker system and they're yours to keep. Now let's get into where you should buy your ISBN. You can purchase your ISBNs from www.myidentifiers.com. This website will bring up the Bowker Services Agency. Bowker is the official ISBN agency for publishers physically located in the U.S. and its territories. If an ISBN is, a, is obtained from another source, again, it might not identify the publisher and title accurately, 
and it could also cause future problems when doing business with publishers in the industry and supply chain. This website also has information on purchasing your ISBNs, purchasing barcodes, copywriting material, marketing your book, and publishing your book. Hey Ty, you mentioned the barcode. Do I need to buy one of those too? Like ISBNs, barcodes are often offered complimentary by whatever self-publishing platform you're using. However, for consistency, inventory tracking, and facilitating sales, you'll want to purchase your own. A barcode is not an ISBN, but instead it is a graphical representation of your book's ISBN and price. It's often used on physical books, allowing them to be machine read. Once you generate a barcode, make sure that you are set on the price of your book because once it's generated, you cannot change the price. So, The last thing I want to touch on in this video is copywriting. Now, technically, your work is copyrighted once you start writing it. However, once you go to publish or distribute your work, you only have three months to legally register your copyright to prevent unauthorized use. Now, I'm gonna be covering copywriting in another video. So definitely stay tuned for that or you're more than welcome to do your own research. However, I just wanted to let you know that before you use your new ISBN and your new barcode and publish your work, if you have not copyrighted your work, well, registered your copyright, you wanna make sure you do that before you publish your work or definitely be prepared to do that within three months after publishing. Okay, okay. So that is my video on barcodes and ISBNs. If you've enjoyed this video and you found the information useful, please make sure to leave a comment, like, and share the video to my channel so that you don't miss out on any new videos and or content and yeah thank you so much for being here like i'm happy that you made it this far in the video thank you if you are interested in any behind the scenes material on the projects that i'm working on or to get early access to the rest of this series before the rest of youtube please make sure to check out my patreon it has all of that information it has behind the scenes videos, behind the scenes content, blogs, selfies, work in progress updates, speed drop videos, like everything, like everything I've been working on is on my Patreon. So definitely please support an artist, check me out. I would love that, it would mean the world to me. <laughs> so yeah, thank you so much again for being here. You are truly legendary, I love you, and until next time, later.